7.5 interrupt in 8085 microprocessor execute service routine from interrupt vector location. Here, RST 7.5, whenever a microprocessor trying to execute, it first go to the vector location, means it is having a, some kind of an address. So 7.5 is nothing but z equals multiply with 8. So what we will get is 60. This is decimal value. So convert 60 into more hexadecimal, that is 30 C because 48 means 12 that is 12 is represented in uh, hexadecimal C 0 this is 3 okay uh, 16 3 is 48 so 12 is going to be left that is represented in hexadecimal as C now it is 0 this is 3 so the location address in in case of 8085 the address is 16 bit so we have to represent 0 0 3c that is hexadecimal form that is option c is correct of z is given as follows we have to decide what kind of filter it is see if we write h of e power j omega a naught plus a1 e power minus j omega b naught plus b1 e power minus j omega as omega tends to infinite it is going to be constant as omega tends to zero also it is a constant Yes or no? So uh, from the given options, what we have to decide is just option A is look at all pass filter. If A not equals to zero and A one equals to B one, it's not acting as an all pass filter. If we substitute, it is going to be zero somewhere in the infinity. So it's not passing in a highest frequency. So it is not an all pass filter. It is not a low pass filter. So the condition for an all pass filter is a naught must be equals to b1 as well as a1 must be equals to b naught. Hence, option C is correct. An 8 bit DTA converter has a full scale output voltage of 20 volts. The output voltage when the input is 11011011 is. Here, v naught is calculated 1 by 2 power 8 is the step size into 2 power 7, the weight of individual bit positions, 2 power 6. 2 power 4 plus 2 power 3 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 0 which is equals to 219 by 256 into 250 which is equals to 17 which is equals to 17 volts that is option D is correct. Form of an e power minus x square is. See, for in order to decide this one, we have to apply the Fourier integral. But it is a standard form also. See, the Fourier transform of e power minus a t square leads to root pi by a e power omega square by Fourier. That is omega is nothing but 2 pi f so omega square is 4 pi square f square here a is nothing but 1 so Fourier transform of e power minus x square is equals to root pi e power minus 4 pi square f square minus 4 so option is root pi e power minus pi square f square that is option c is correct of zeros to be padded to the given x of n whose length is l and y of n length is m l is greater than m for implementing a linear convolution using circular convolution of x of n and y of n is see before proceeding into the solution we have to know the length of the linear convolution of a sequence x of n and y of n is l plus m minus 1 this is the length of the sequence we are going to get after performing a linear convolution of x of n and y of n now so for performing circular convolution of x of n and y of n they must be of equal length 
so we have to pad the number of zeros to x of n as l plus m minus 1 minus l which is equals to m minus 1 zeros the number of zeros to be padded to y of n is equals to l plus m minus 1 minus m which is equals to l minus 1 so option a is correct following is a false if pi of t is a straight transition matrix here pi of t is nothing but e power a t is the straight transition matrix pi of minus t is nothing but e power minus a t which is also equals to e power a t whole inverse hence pi of t is nothing but pi inverse of t this is correct statement so pi of t1 minus t2 which is nothing but e power a t1 minus t2 which is equals to pi of t1 pi of minus t2 this is option c is also correct here pi of t1 t2 is equals to e power a t1 t2 which is not equals to pi of t1 pi inverse of t2 hence option b is the wrong statement regarding the state transition matrix hence option b is correct proof system is described by the following state model we have to find out the system is stable or unstable or marginally stable what is the status of the system so before deciding that one we have to find out the transfer function of the system from the given state model that is transfer function is nothing but c si minus a whole inverse into b here c is nothing but 1 1 b is nothing but minus 1 1 si minus a whole inverse is nothing but s minus 8 s minus 4 0 0 s minus 8 s minus 4 so 1 by s minus 4 0 1 by s minus 8 so transfer function is equals to 1 1 s minus 4 0 0 1 by s minus 8 minus 1 1 here if we find out a transfer function we will get that 1 by s minus 4 here 1 by s minus minus 1 by s minus 4 plus 1 by s minus 8 this is the function we are getting now look at the pole locations we will get all, all poles are located in the right half of the s plane hence the system is unstable that is option b is correct